bag, bout to hop in my glow. Niggas ain't with you, not even a little. Nah, I ain't your gang and I can't be a bro. Be with your niggas, don't beef with your brothers. I really put all of the shit on the flow. Shorty keep shaking that ass like a hoe. And I just grab. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's the y'all. I'm still doing you know what I'm saying? Top 10 scary roller coasters in the world, y'all. This is 2022. That's what the video says. So we finna get into it. I'm finna start reacting and stuff like this, y'all. I used to be adding some of this like on my other channel, but I'm finna start back reacting to it because I feel like. A lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying, you did see it, like this, so I'm gonna definitely be reacting to this stuff again. So, make sure like I'm still talking about all that good stuff. Um, after, after this video, I got one more video, that's gonna be really 11 videos for today, so I got two more uploading, and I just did some more, so we're gonna get into it today, but make sure I comment down below and let me know what I'm saying, I hope you reacting and everything. And yeah, y'all, let's get into these top 10 scary roller coasters, and just let's get into it, and I'm gonna see y'all later scariest rides that I've ever ridden. And I want to start things off with Pigeon Forge Tennessee Mountain Monster. Mountain Monster is actually a complex made up of a couple different rides, including a drop tower and saddle swing. But this is the main headlining attraction. It's kind of similar to a sky coaster, except you're actually sitting in a seat, strapped in, they tilt you forwards like a dive coaster, and then release you and you plummet to the ground, dangling from cables. And I think what makes this so scary is the fact that the restraints are pretty minimalist. We're talking about some pretty tight seat belts. The fact that it forces you to look at the ground and that you know cables are the only thing preventing you from dying. It's definitely an awesome thrill that I recommend checking out. At the number nine spot, we have what was at one point the world's tallest Starflyer, but it's the tallest Starflyer I've ever done. This is the one down in Orlando, and I've done this one countless times. It doesn't get me quite like it used to, but it still puts me a little bit on edge. I don't know if I'm quite at the level where I'll put my hands up while riding this thing. I'm still holding on. This thing's about 450 feet tall. So it's absolutely enormous and you're hanging from chains. And while I know that they're perfectly safe, it's again, one of those things that plays with your senses. It makes you feel like something could go wrong at any time. But let me tell you, the views are awesome. The ride experience is great. It's super long. I always have a blast on this thing, but it doesn't mean it doesn't freak me out a little. At the number eight spot is a ride that on paper shouldn't be terrifying at all. This is at a remote theme park in Japan that I visited, and all it is is a calm little bike ride along some track. It's roller coaster track, but it's completely human powered. There's no electricity or anything. Unlike the other attractions, what makes this one terrifying is that it does feel unsafe. There are two seats per car, and each one of them are positioned over the rails. So part of your body is just ever so slightly hanging outside the track, and you know that you could easily just jump off and you die instantly. And it plays with your senses even more when you go around this turn when you're super elevated way off the ground. The track banks slightly outwards. It is so freaky. I was way on edge doing this thing. It was a ride that I didn't expect to freak me out, but I'm on this thing and I'm like, I don't know about this, guys. But I'm so glad I did it. And honestly, it's one of my favorite attractions I've ever done. Let's head to Las Vegas, Nevada for the number seven attraction. This is Big Shot, which is an SNS drop tower on top of the Strat, formerly the Stratosphere Hotel. The actual tower is only 160 feet tall. The problem is, it's on top of one of the tallest towers in the world. So the total height is over a thousand feet feet in the air. So you are launched to the tippy top of this thing. And because of the way you're seated, you don't know how much higher you're going to go. So when you shoot up, you feel like you're just going to rock it straight off and then fall to the ground and you're going to die. It's already unsettling being at that top deck of that hotel. But then when you ride this thing, it's like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane. But you want to talk about a better drop tower, the Orlando Free Fall at Icon Park. Yes, the same place that houses the Orlando Starflyer just recently built a drop tower. And this thing is freakishly tall. It sits at ground level. Level. So it plays with a different kind of fear than what Big Shot does. Big Shot messes with your head because of how high up you are. This plays with your fear because you realize how long of a fall that is. You drop and you're falling for an uncomfortable amount of time. Not to mention the seats tilt about 30 degrees. This is a ride that is so thrilling. My hands sweat every time I ride it, but I love it. It's so good. Most drop towers don't freak me out, but this is one that does. And I love it. Now we made it to the number five spot. Let's go down the road to Kissimmee, Florida. And there's a lot of sky coasters out there, but by far the most thrilling one I've ever done is the world's tallest at Fun Spot Kissimmee. Now, is it the best sky coaster? Well, I haven't done Royal Rush at Royal Gorge in Colorado. That one by far looks to be the scariest, but this one's pretty crazy. I mean, it's located directly over water and there's a fountain right at the bottom that you feel like you're just gonna hit. Not to mention when you're 300 feet in the air, you're literally free falling and you're in a freaking suit. 
It's the same sort of fear what Mountain Monster has, except for this, they just removed the vehicle. This is about as close to free falling as it gets without skydiving. For the number four attraction, let's go back to the Strat. They have a couple rides up there. We already talked about Big Shot. Let's talk about Insanity. And this might be the most perfectly named ride ever to exist, because that's all you need to know. It's absolutely insane. You sit in these chairs, which, first of all, it's only a lap bar. So already, that's terrifying. It takes you out over the edge, and then it starts rotating. You're literally forced to look down over 900 feet below you. I'm literally sweating just talking about this ride. Whoever designed this ride is a complete psychopath. You talk about a ride that is unsettling. I literally did this once, and I was like, I'm not doing that again. It was that terrifying. Definitely one of the biggest adrenaline rushes I've ever had in my life. But it's only at the number four spot. We still got some crazy ones coming up. We've made it to our top three. Let's go to Colorado. This is Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. One of my favorite places I've ever been, and they have a ride that is so messed up. This is the Giant Canyon Swing. It's an SNS Screaming Swing. Four riders sit back to back, and depending on which side you're at, you either look straight down at the canyon below, or you get launched off the canyon looking straight up at the sky. And you know, you would think that the side where you're forced to stare straight down is scarier. It's not. The side where you're getting launched off is way freakier. This is a ride that absolutely made my heart race. I had the courage to do it more than insanity. This is another one of those rides where I say whoever came up with this thing is messed up. You almost get more people watching it than riding it, but it's so photogenic. So if you go here, be sure to bring your phone because you're going to want to take a lot of pictures. When I went, I spent a full day here and I'm so glad my phone was fully charged. That's why I use the anchor. Phone. And so many of these cables that we're using nowadays stray away from that standard USB port in favor of USB-C. So the fact that I can finally use those without needing an adapter makes my life way easier. I'll throw a link to where you can get yours in the description down below. So that way, next time you're at a theme park, you'll be all set for a fun-filled day and you'll get that perfect shot of whatever crazy thrill ride you get on next. And our number two attraction is one that you'll definitely want to capture the moment for. This is Pterodactyl at Cave of the Winds. So take Mountain Monster from earlier and put it in a canyon. So before where you're dropping towards Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, now you're dropping into a cavern below and you think you're going to hit the rocks on the other side. Oh, and did I mention this thing is also a lot taller. This is a 400 foot cavern. So yeah, you could like fit dragster from top to bottom. And this thing plunges you all the way down, gives you a real scenic look, but it's honestly kind of hard to focus on the view when you're like totally freaking out. There's another one of those attractions where I only rode it once. I'm so glad I did it, but man, it was terrifying. But would I do it again? I mean, yeah, probably. Hey, there's nothing quite like that first time ride. Once you did it, you feel like you can conquer anything. So why not do it again? Well, unless we're talking about our number one attraction, no way am I doing this thing again. x -Cream is our number one scariest ride, and it is the third and final attraction in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Strat. And I don't think I've ever been so stressed in my life than riding this thing. And it's so simple. We're literally talking about a seesaw, but they put it on top of a freaking building. So it tilts you, and then you start sliding forward, and you think you're just gonna fly straight off the tower down to the ground below and you're gonna be dead. This is the one of the most psychologically demented attractions in the world. I only rode this once. I sat in the front row by myself and I thought that was it for me. So if you learned anything from this video, if you want to get terrified, go to the Stratosphere Hotel in Las Vegas. They literally had three of the 10 attractions on here, and they even have a fourth. You can jump off the Stratosphere. I didn't put that on here because technically it's not a ride, but that's also terrifying and I recommend it. So let me know down in the comments below, what are some of the scariest attractions you've ever ridden? And if you've been on any of these, let me know what you thought of them down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We do roller coaster and theme park videos from places all around the world. So thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.